Hastings in East Sussex has many underrated shore fishing marks. The opening of the pier has regenerated interest in shore fishing in the area, but despite the efforts of Paul's tackle, the pier is only open on odd occasions. So we're taking a look today at the Harbour Arm. This is not strictly a harbour in Hastings, but this wall provides shelter for the large commercial fleet that's land-based to the east of the wall. The wall offers good catches throughout the year with bass, eels, flounder, whiting and pouting and regularly caught. Another excellent way of catching fish is with a float fished prawn. This live bait method is an excellent way to try and pick up the bass. There's a superb video filmed on location here by local bass expert Shane Joy and he really shows us how to perfect this technique. The mackerel shoals here in summer tend to be a bit of a comedy occasion with lots of anglers who perhaps only fish once or twice a year coming down in their droves so it's best to avoid these occasions although you're only talking about two or three days a year where the mackerel shoal in the harbour and can be seen taking anything and everything. It's well worth fishing this mark during the morning or the evening tides. A flooding tide is fine from low tide up and you'll get to see some of the features here. It's worth bearing in mind that of course the commercial fleet works out of the harbour. And now we're looking towards Hastings Pier which is about a mile or so towards the west there. Uh, this is the western side of the pier. The features here are very similar to the other side of the wall with big rocks close in. As you can see there there's quite a prominent gap. Another good place to try and uh, put your bait either side of that depending which way the water is flowing between it. Accurate casters can of course get to the end of the wall which is another prime spot. We'll zoom in on Hastings uh, to get a little idea of what the parking's like. During summer months it can be pretty horrendous. This is towards the old town part of Hastings where parking is at a premium. There is the Rock and Ore car park uh, to the east. but um, The biggest car park which I'm circling there uh, is the the main car park to head for. We'll take a look at that in a minute. That's the Rock and Ore one there. And get an idea of why this wall fishes quite well sticking out as it does there. Uh, and that will hold food depending on the wind direction, uh, either inside the harbour or the other side to the west. Tackle shops, you have uh, Hastings Angling Centre, which is within walking distance of the mark. That's your closest one. Uh, we recommend Paul's Tackle. He's over near the pier. Um, perhaps best to park up there for your lugworm baits. So your main car park is this one here. Uh, Pelham Place it holds the most amount of cars. Uh, it does say it's closed between 11 and 7, but I don't think I've ever seen them... Uh, shut the gates. So you're heading this way, this is heading east along the seafront. Uh, there was an angling festival when we took this video here. You can see the wall in the background there. Uh, if you walk along the beach you'll obviously get an idea uh, of the conditions but also you can go around this way which is running parallel to the beach up to the lifeboat station there. That's the big blue building and the mark is directly there. Um, so I hope that gives you a rough idea of uh, how to fish this harbour wall in Hastings. As I say, if you could leave comments in the YouTube uh, boxes down below, that's down there, that would be really helpful.